author and a philanthropist, but you probably know him best from his appearances on radio and TV programs nationwide. Tavis Smiley has made a name for himself over the years, but not without controversy. Smiley has been off the air for more than three years now after being fired over sexual misconduct allegations in the workplace. Smiley is with us today to talk about that, but also his new talk radio station. He bought a station, KBLA Talk 1580, calls itself unapologetically progressive. Take a look. We're all in this together. KBLA Talk 1580 is officially live. Unapologetically Progressive Talk Radio is launched in the city of Los Angeles. Empowerment and entertainment all on one frequency. Make sure to follow us on all socials at KBLA 1580 and download our new streaming app as well. We even have a brand new website at KBLA1580.com. Join the movement on a station that sounds like the city look. It's KBLA Talk 1580. We've got a lot to talk about. That looked like Melina Abdullah there from BLM. Uh, I know that mm -hmm. was. All right, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, there he is, Tavis Smiley. Thank you so much for being with us today. My great pleasure. Thank you, Marla. Okay, so you were off the air, as mentioned, for more than three years, but noticeably last year during a pivotal time in this country. Of course, I'm referring to the death of George Floyd and everything that happened thereafter. So during that time, you're off the air. Here we are now. It's been more than a year since his death. Why is the time right for you now to get back on the air? Let me, let me borrow from my hero, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. King said that the time is always ripe to do right. And I believe that. And so the timing right now for this venture, Marla, could not be more propitious. Uh, and we're excited about being able to bring a platform to LA to give people of color, African Americans and progressives writ large a voice. Uh, let me be frank, in this city, which I love, Talk radio for too long has been all day, all night, all white, and it's time for that to change. All right, well, you are uh, doing your part to make that change. Uh, let's talk about why you were taken off the air, why you lost your job with PBS. You were the first African-American to get his own talk show on PBS, let that be noted. And then in 2017, uh, you were fired over sexual misconduct allegations. PBS and its court filings say that six women describe misconduct claims in court testimony. The women have not been publicly identified. And you've denied these allegations all along. Yeah, I have all along. They've not been identified, but I've been outed and harassed, uh, you know, because of this. Let me just say this. I support Me Too. Uh, one of the great things about my show on PBS is that we had literally, this is not me, just this is not just conjecture. There's data to back this up. We had more women and more people of color on our show than any show on the entire network of PBS. That's just the fact and the data backs it up. Um, so four years ago, almost four years ago now, I denied these allegations when they were made. They were scurrilous, they were false. I denied them then, I denied them, I denied them now. And I, I denied them so strongly that I sued the network. I sued the network to protect my good name. We didn't get the verdict that we wanted in that case, uh, but the case is on appeal now and we will see what the appeal brings. But after almost four years, it's time to get back to the work and witness that I have always engaged in my career, trying to love and serve people. You deny the allegations, but how, how has this experience changed you? Uh, in fundamental ways. I mean, when you lose the opportunity to do what you love to do. Um, I don't believe that advocacy is a spectator sport. You have to get off the sidelines and get involved in the game, get on the field. So to your point, it was, it was, it was difficult to be on the sidelines for almost four years now when I saw uh, the pain and the anger and the angst and the frustration and the death and destruction that was being levied against my own community. I, I wanted to be uh, on the airwaves, on television, on radio, to do what I've always done, to try to offer a different perspective, to try to be a voice for those who don't have access to these important airwaves. So it was difficult, but again, I, I can't whine, I can't complain, I'm glad to be back. In life, we don't control what happens uh, to us, we just control how we respond mm. to what happens to us. And so mm -hmm. it's just time to get back to work. All right, so you're gonna be on three hours uh, every weekday. You mm -hmm. say that you're not the star of your own radio station. There are plenty of familiar faces. So as mentioned, we saw Melina Abdullah from Black Lives mm -hmm. Matter. So who else? It's quite the lineup. Yeah, Black Lives Matter has done such great work and witness. They are the, the, the most important civil rights movement, except for the civil rights movement in late modernity. So they, they deserve to have their own commercial radio show, their own platform. So I'm glad that Black Lives Matter hosts a show on our network, our station every week. But there's Dominique DePrima, who's known around this city, mm -hmm. D.L. Hughley, a great comedian, does an afternoon show. 
It's a great guy named Danny Morrison who voiced the spot that you're rolling, rolling right now. Alonzo Bolt, who won last comic standing some, some years ago, was on our show. We have a relationship show every night uh, with Dr. Jashana Johnson and Donna Michi and Krista and Kiara hold it down from nine to midnight. So there's a, a, a great variety of shows. We got something for everybody's taste. Uh, but I'm just excited to have this opportunity again to give people a platform to express their fears, their frustrations, their hopes and their dreams in this city. I'm going to get in trouble from the producer, but quickly here, because I'm getting wrapped. Unapo unapologetically yes. progressive, what does that mean? We're unapologetic about the fact that we are, that we believe in progressive politics. And for me, that means very simply, Marla, progressive means that you want the same thing for everybody else's kids that you want for your own kids. If you really believe that and you engage a work and a witness that in that, that that underscores that, then you're a progressive. Okay. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, appreciate it. And, you, of course, you can find KBLA Radio on the AM dial at 1580. Tavis Smiley, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you, Marla. And good luck with, with the radio station.